Thank you for coming back to the channel. As you saw on that intro, we are talking about custom Kingdom Come Batman. And yes, I'll save you the time and the grief. You do have to take him apart for this to work. And it is difficult because that plug that holds that backpack, well, there's four of them, four pegs, and then there's a plug that holds the wings to the back. Now we are going to be using, again, the TP4056 rechargeable board and a 2032 rechargeable battery, 3.7 volts, so you'll have to use a resistor. This is what it looks like close up, and this is what that jet pack looks like once you remove it off of the actual wings. Remember, there are four pegs, and you will have to wedge in, well, I used popsicle sticks to wedge them underneath that jet pack, to be able to pry it loose. It took me a long time. This is not an easy task. Once you remove those four pegs, well, it's up to you if you want to re-glue it or just attach it by pressure. Now, let's take a look at the figure, what it looks like without all of that, well, the wings and the jet pack. This is what it will look like. It's still unpainted. I'm mean, not crazy about the head, I'll change it later. But this is what the figure looks like up close when you remove the actual wings and the jetpack. You're left with a very basic figure. We're not going to get into that here, but this is what it looks like in the back. A giant plug is what holds in those wings. And you will have to wedge that plug away from the body enough to cut it. You will not be able to remove it just by... Um, heat alone. You'll actually have to cut it. Inside the jetpack you will have to make a small little platform with some styrene or some extra plastic to have that battery sit on something on a flat surface. And the TP46, the TP4056 board will then be glued to the top surface. And you'll have to make room so that you can actually glue it on there at the top. Now, if you are going to do that, you will have to run a switch. And the switch is provided, well, I actually purchased it from evandesigns.com. And it is on the underside of the actual wings. This is the side where the jetpack goes. You will need a plate to reattach it with a magnet. The switch is on the underneath. That means you can switch it on and off before you reattach it to the body. A strong magnet is what's required. If you have a weak magnet, it's not going to hold the weight. Now on the inside, once again, I used very tiny mini LEDs in white from Amazon. You get them 25 to a pack for about 12 bucks. So you have plenty of them to work with. These are pretty much my last two. And I ran them through the sides, very tiny hole on each side, ran the wire through, and I'm going to run a light test to see what this looks like. I'm going to attach them to the 2032 battery, which does have a charge on it already. And we'll see if these light up. Let's take a look.
Now on the inside at the bottom for the thrusters, I added two mega LEDs that are self-blinking and I tied those in to those white lights and that's why all of them blink together. And those are by evandesigns.com. Now earlier I did mention that you're going to need a magnet to hold those wings in place. You'll need to drill in the back of the figure dead center where that plug was and you will have to insert it deep enough because that is a large and strong magnet. If the magnet is not strong enough to hook up to that plate or magnetize to that plate then it's not going to be strong enough to hold the weight of the jetpack plus the two extended ends of the wings. This is what your figure should look like in the end. Now if you're wondering what paint did I use for the actual armor, although this is not a painting video, I did use the Vallejo paint mixed in with golden and pearl silver. And that's what gave me that tone. And of course, yes, that is a custom head that I purchased on eBay and painted myself. But this video is not about that. It's about lighting the jetpack for your figure. So I'm going to leave you with some video of the finished product. If you like, comment, like, and subscribe. And yes, if you have any questions, let me know and I will certainly get back to you. In the meantime, enjoy the video and we'll see you here next time.